Hair gloss, what is it? What does it do? Do you need it? Is it worth the hype? I'm here to answer all of your questions. I'm no stranger to using hair gloss, but today I have a honest review of the L'Oreal Paris Glycolic Gloss Shampoo and Conditioner. This is not a sponsored post, and I'm here to tell you what I think. Let's put them to the test and see if they can keep up with those high-end brands. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's great to meet you. Welcome. My name is Angela and I post all types of content, wellness, fitness, as a mom of two tiny tots. If that type of content interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along for more. Right, I just got home from the gym. I am a mess, but I am ready to get this hair washed. Now, what is hair gloss? It's taking over social media suddenly. I think in the past hair glosses were very common to be added to coloring treatments. So you could add it as part of your treatment at a salon or they were found in products at home to add just a little bit of extra shine, boost, enhance your color, provide a little bit more vibrancy to your coloring. I am no stranger to this and I will take my video here where I did a review on the L'Oreal casting gloss. And this was my first time trying to cover my, some of my gray hair I'm in my late 30s and I was looking for a natural alternative. I was pleasantly surprised by the results. I wasn't expecting the results to be as great as they were, with how smooth and shiny my hair was. So that was a added bonus. And of course the gray coverage was amazing as well. And if you're curious, I have continued to use this Casting Natural Gloss. And I stock up when it's on sale because it isn't a permanent gloss. It only lasts about 28 washes. So I highly recommend you check out that video if you're interested. Now lately coming onto the market, I've seen a lot of clear glosses. So these are glosses that you can use that don't have any coloring in them. And you would use them as a treatment to get the same results, that shiny, soft, manageable hair. Anyone can benefit from a hair gloss. You don't just have to have color treated hair. If your hair is dull, like mine, dehydrated, like mine, straw-like, like mine, then a hair gloss might be a good option for you. If you have any type of sun damage, heat damage, you bleach your hair, you color your hair a lot, also a good reason to look into a hair gloss. So how does it work? So a hair gloss smooths the surface of your hair and your cuticle so that the hair surface looks smoother and then reflects the light a little bit better, making it shiny. It helps to smooth away any flyaways, frizz, and like I said, dull looking hair. Now I am the queen of flyaways and frizz. My youngest child is three years old and the postpartum hair loss I had has left me with a lot of different little baby hairs around my crown. So the frizz and the flyaways, it's a real thing with me. So great, sign me up. I need it in my life. What is the price? Now I live in Canada and when I go to Sephora and look at some of the higher rated products for natural clear glosses, you're talking big money here. Now big money for me, I don't like to spend a lot of money on new products that I don't know if they're gonna work for me. They were ranging from, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars, and I just didn't feel like I needed it that badly. But a few websites that I went on when I was researching hair glosses and the benefits, they said that there is a really good drugstore brand. So I immediately went to my local shopper's drug mart and grabbed them off the shelf. And I would just like to say these were $10 a piece. So the reviews online for these were pretty amazing. We have the L'Oreal Paris Glycolic Gloss Shampoo. It's a 2% gloss complex by, with glycolic acid. Gosh, try to say that 10 times fast. It says it penetrates deep into the hair fiber to improve the quality of hair and seal the cuticle for a long lasting glossy effect. It's supposed to leave the hair two times shinier and 88% smoother. I'm not sure how they came up with that number. Definitely excited to give this a try. They say salon worthy hair in just five minutes. And to go with it, I got the glycolic gloss conditioner and this is an 11% gloss complex with glycolic acid. And it says to apply this after shampooing from the mid legs to the tips, leaving it on for three minutes and then rinsing. Now there also is a step four and five um, I believe it's like a lamination and a serum, but I don't like to use too many products in my hair. I only wash my hair maybe once a week, maybe twice. I find the more products I add to my hair, the more buildup I have on my scalp. I posted a short recently where I said that I 
use glycolic acid on my scalp to try to get some rid of some of that buildup in my dry scalp, which has been helping a ton, but I don't like to apply a lot of products. So sticking with just a shampoo conditioner, then I'm going to go in with my heat protectant after and do a blow with my Dyson Airwrap and see what the results are. Now my hair is a mess. I wanted to film this video and I pushed washing my hair way too long. Definitely a lot of buildup on my scalp and I like to always shampoo twice. So the first shampoo I'm going to use is just a clarifying shampoo and then I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal shampoo followed by the conditioner. My hair is so dehydrated, so straw-like, it's so tangly. I'm hoping that I see some major results here. It does say that the results are supposed to last between five to 10 shampoos. So I'll believe it when I see it, but definitely looking forward to smoother hair. Now I didn't know most L'Oreal products do have an added fragrance to it and they do smell quite perfumey. So this one does smell quite perfumey. It's, it doesn't smell bad by any means, but that's something to watch out for if you don't like heavy fragrance hair perfume in your shampoo and conditioner, then these might not be the ones for you because they are heavily scented. All right, I've talked enough. It's time to hop in the shower. my very first time filming in the shower and I always think it's so weird when people do it but it was actually kind of fun. If you saw the shampoo lathered really really nice. It's a really nice thick shampoo but I found just a little bit I could evenly distribute it and lather it all over my scalp so I got a really clean feeling on my scalp and then with the really thick conditioner I went in just from mids to tips and gave it a good massage, left it on for the three minutes and gave it a rinse. That's all I did. I will say that the conditioner rinsed out really, really nice. It gave my hair lots of great slip and I'm really excited to see the results here. So I will say that compared to the conditioner and shampoo that I was using before, my hair does feel quite smooth, which is nice. And the perfumey smell isn't too overpowering for me. I actually really like it. Again, if you're not big in two scents, this might not be the right one for you. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with the heat protectant and then give it a blow dry and give it a little bit of a curl with my Dyson Airwrap. And then we're gonna come back for the final results. curls and put a little makeup on to finish the look. I am loving my Dyson Era, but that was only my third time using it and I'm loving the way that it makes my hair look. But here we go. This is the finished product. Is my hair smoother? Yes, it is. Is it shinier? It 100% is. Is it 88% smoother? I don't know, but it definitely is smoother. You can see I still have all of my postpartum flyaways from all my rebirth. So I didn't put any finishing oil or anything on my curls, but that's kind of how I would get the rest of the flyaways kind of tame. But my hair drank up that shampoo and conditioner. It doesn't feel as straw like, it doesn't feel as dry. So I know that being a little bit more consistent and perhaps using the serum and lamination might give me better results. But overall, I'm really, really pleased. My hair smells amazing. I feel like the color does look a little bit more vibrant and I know you're like, you've got black hair, Angela. But I definitely feel like the shininess kind of gave the color a little bit more vibrancy. Overall, I'm really pleased. Like I said, I bought the shampoo and conditioner for $10 each which is really, really reasonably priced. I just bought it at my local drugstore and I'm loving these results. And this is coming from someone that has naturally wavy hair, wavy to curly hair. So normally my hair is really, really frizzy. So again, I can't believe how shiny and smooth and tame it looks. Definitely feel like it's worth it without breaking the bank. I'm curious if you've tried these products before or if you've tried the high-end $80, $90 products before and if you think that they're worth that price point. 
please comment down below. I'm so interested to hear from you. And again, I appreciate all your love on this video and all my past videos as well. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that the YouTube algorithm can show it to like-minded individuals. And I just hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.